but we're going to move on to another set of perspectives, that of industry. And uh, Ryan uh, Wiley from Shift House was uh, supposed to be here, but he's in Riyadh, or somewhere between here and Riyadh right now. And so I'm going to uh, chair this session. And uh, the question is, how would uh, value-based approaches spur uh, outcomes uh, in Ontario, but from an industry perspective? So I'd like to invite the panelists, uh, Rolly Cameron from Johnson & Johnson. Uh, Rolly, thanks for joining us. Uh, Robert Fox uh, from Cisco Canada. And Ken Spears uh, from Boston Scientific. And we just all heard uh, about the landscape uh, in Ontario from the provider perspective, uh, from the innovation community perspective, uh, from Health Quality Ontario perspective, uh, as chaired by, by Bill. But now we have a chance to hear what does industry think? They go everywhere, they see all the different places, they see all the different systems. I, I'm really interested to hear what their perspective is on this. And so uh, we have uh, time for each one to present. We'll try to go a little quick. I think people like the dialogue. So um, maybe uh, let's get Rolly up uh, first, uh, 10 minutes. But let's see if, if you speed through, the audience won't mind because we want the conversation. So uh, so thank you. I'm getting the, the hint to kind of uh, move through here. The problem is when I sp start to speak a little bit fast, my Nova Scotia accent comes out. So I will try to. Um, Still keep it kind of slow here, but look, I've been with J&J for 23 years now. Um, I'm from Canada. I'm fiercely proud Canadian. Um, I spent my first 11 years in Canada, and then I had the, the good fortune to travel abroad. I spent two years in Europe, six years in the U.S., and I've been back in Canada now for four and a half years. And I come at that from a perspective of not just a supplier of um, innovation into the system, but also as a consumer of innovation in the medical system. Um, in both the UK, the US, and here in Canada. And, you know, I, I'm gonna frame my conversation here with a little bit of a story to start with, which is, you know, somebody mentioned before around the culture of Canadians, right? And we apologize. Well, I can also tell you the culture of Canadians, we don't sell ourselves very well, right? I have to sell my US colleagues on the value of Canada as an industry and a technology hub. You know, a little story here. I'll pick my boss up who's from the US, which a lot of our, our bosses are from, you know, we'll take the 90 minute drive from Pearson down here because traffic is terrible. And in that 90 minutes, we'll talk about the weather. You know, we'll talk about some stereotypes of Canada. If it's still October or November and we're still optimistic about the Leafs, I'll show them where the parade is gonna start and where the parade is gonna end. And then we drop them off down here at, at university and college and they are blown away, right? They're blown away by the level uh, of capabilities we have. They're blown away by the facilities we have. And they truly get this picture that this is a hub of innovation that is second or third in North America. And I think when I have those conversations, then we get things that happen such as partnerships with the U of T, partnerships with the government of Ontario, and partnerships with J&J, &J, and we get something like J-Labs, which is you know, a tremendous investment in innovation in Ontario and in, in Canada. And it's very positive. We go out to dinner, we have a nice glass of wine, and we pat ourselves on the back because we've done a good job in bringing innovation to Canada. The next day I'll sit and I'll have a conversation with that same person and we'll talk about my business. And invariably it will come down to the question of how are you doing launching your new and innovative products into Canada? And quite transparently, the conversation is very challenging for a lot of the reasons we talked about around the siloed mentality of our payers around price as one of the key determinants, and we get all of these understandings. And that's why I think from an industry perspective, this concept of value-based um, innovation is critical for us if we want to move forward. So I'll just, you know, I, I want to give it from a very practical standpoint here too, is again, if you think about large multinationals and you think about value, and I've seen different um, definitions of value this morning, but really it comes down to outcomes over cost and how we define those outcomes is different. You know, one of the parts I really loved around um, a conversation I heard this morning, it's, it's not just clinical outcomes, it's also patient-based outcomes, and those outcomes that matter most to patients, right? And if you think about our innovation in the US, a lot of our innovation happens around how do we get procedures from out of the hospitals, not all procedures, but how do we move them from a hospital setting to an alternate site of care, where maybe it's cheaper, more effective, um, we can have the same outcomes, but it's a better experience for the patients. And because of that, you'll see a lot of innovation coming out of multinationals that exactly try to do that. The problem is they don't play in Canada for a number of reasons. And I'll give you a very practical example. Sorry. So 
see a lot of people in here um, who probably have young children who, or who have had young children. And anybody who's had children, we all, you know, you know that oftentimes you'll wake up and you'll have ear infections. And 20 to 40% of these ear infections become chronic. Traditionally, these are when you have to put tubes into a patient's ears, uh, into a child's ears. It happens in a hospital setting. It happens under general anesthesia. And it's, it's a, um, a, a, a not a cheap kind of overall procedure. So think about a, a device, a medical innovation that will enable us to actually do the same type of thing, have the same type of outcomes, but in fact, move that uh, site of care from a hospital setting to an outpatient setting or a private setting. And this is an innovation that J&J &J is trying to bring to market, and it's called the Tula system. And instead of being in an operating room under general anesthesia, the innovation here enables the procedure to happen in a, an office setting, in a private setting, where the patient is under, the child is under local anesthesia, um, it's lidocaine that is, um, due to the, the proprietary nature of the system, lidocaine is actually uh, through the ionospheric, um, let, me, let me read that again, the ionospheric uh, applies low level of electronic current, so it enables the, the freezing of the eardrums, and then the, the, pro the process can be done very quickly within 10 minutes, and the patient leaves. And you think about you as a parent, the stress that that will relieve, the economic value, you're not missing work, and all those kind of things. And the question I ask to all of us is, will this innovation come to Canada? My answer is probably not. And probably not for a couple of reasons. One is the cost of this device in a hospital setting is dramatically more expensive than the cost of a device that would be used in the operating room today. Where the benefits of this are though, are the long-term savings, right? The benefits are in the where it's being applied. Um, the benefits are to the patient satisfaction that is going to go through with this. So what I would say to us is, you know, where I would leave on this is, if we get to value-based healthcare and the things that we heard about this morning, which is looking at outcomes, not just clinical, but also the patient outcomes. Looking at the total cost of care, not just the cost of the device in the operating room. We can get to a point where this type of innovation will be valued and accepted. And the, the, you know, my closing thought on this is, as industry, you know, I hope we get to this level of outcomes-based innovation, but as a consumer of healthcare, we need to get to this level of outcomes-based innovation. Thank you very much.